Okay, Doug, this is to see if we can understand whether, right, that the um, Antichrist is the Pope or not. We need to establish this. Um, there are people online that just seem to just pin everything on the Vatican. It's like, well, what's the rest of the world doing about anything then? Because, like, you know, it's got to fit in somewhere. Okay, so we've established so far that the beast is a geezer, right? It's it's a chap, right? It's a man anyway, yeah? Uh, according to the scriptures. So if we stick to the Bible and not our own doctrine, right, we'll get the answers. Uh, I just want to uh, just reflect on an earlier passage, uh, chapter 17 of Revelation, verse 9. Uh, Here is a mind that hath wisdom, the seven heads of seven mountains, on which the woman sit. Okie doke, right? So, which establishment sits on seven hills? Right, well, City of Seven Hills is a nickname for the um, area the Vatican is out on. Okay? Right, so we've established that that's the whore is established in the Vatican area. Okay? It is the Vatican. Okay? All about it. The whole thing. We've, we've established uh, that the beast is a man. We've also established uh, the ten horns are ten kings. And it says in the, on, on 16, chapter 17 of Revelation, And the ten horns which thou sawest uh, upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Okay, so what we need to understand, okay, here, the ten horns, the ten kings, and the beast are going to hate the whore. So we've established the beast is the Antichrist, right? He's the one that's issuing the mark, yeah? It is the Antichrist, the son of perdition. This is the last, you know, the last uh, controller. Uh, around, yeah, it's going to issue this, okay? So we've established that, okay? So if the Pope or any of them, right, is the Antichrist, which is the beast, according to that theory, this is really important. He is going to be burning his own area, his own place. Right? They shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now, I can't see the Pope, if he's the Antichrist, the beast, doing that to his own yard. Right? It's just, it's not going to happen. What, he's going to blow himself up, shoot himself in the head, burn the place down, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense, right? It really just does not make sense, okay? The ten horns are ten kings, okay? And uh, the beast is going to be um, obviously setting those up, which is, you know, it's all sort of being set up around about now. It's nearly sort of done, the areas are. Um, so the ten kings will come out of those areas. And they're, they're just going to, like, hate the whore with the beast, yeah. Says the beast as well. Uh, make her desolate and naked and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Well, he's not going to do that to himself, is he? So, <laughs> seriously, I, from the scriptures, understand that the Pope, or any of them, cannot be the Antichrist. It is not scriptural. <laughs> it just can't happen, Right? That's like shooting yourself in the head. It's beating the heck out of yourself. It's like, come on, it's not going to happen. Robbing your own yard. It just doesn't make any sense. So within this uh, part two of whether the Pope is the Antichrist or not, I would say that due to scripture and reading scripture, I would say that the Pope or any of the Popes are not the Antichrist, I rest my case, TTFN.